on another day in the life of Leon House, which is me. I'm Leon. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> this channel um, is always going to be just about my life. And I've said it before, but that is what I'm posting it. I'm hoping some of you guys enjoy the videos, but it's good for me to be able to check this channel occasionally and see what all I've accomplished, see what I've done, and hopefully some of you guys will find it entertaining and find it interesting. If not, it's good to, at least for me, to, like I said, look back and see everything that's happened. Kind of like a, a photo album or I don't even know. Just like, I have like the worst memory ever and this helps me remember things. So it's it's kind of a good thing, and um, I don't know if this video makes any sense, but we're gonna get going, hopefully come up with some cool content. Well, that was a lot of work for four freaking dollars. Oh my gosh. Uh, I tried to be as nice as possible about it, but oh my gosh, what the crap. So I got a Taco Bell order for $4. It was pretty close, so I went ahead and took it. Um, I picked up the order, I went to leave, and she did leave instructions, which was good, but the instructions were very confusing. Um, so the, the pen was exactly the same location, it was the Taco Bell. And so I was like, what the crap? So I didn't know which way to go. I kind of uh, took a right, like it said, and then I went ahead and just called her. And even trying to call her and get instructions and uh, was confusing because she said there was like this yellow uh, triangle to turn left on. And I did, and it was just a house right there. So then eventually I figured it out and there was a second triangle further down the road. And even then, yeah. I, today I decided to switch it up and because I usually get the uh, breakfast croissants or the bacon egg and cheese breakfast croissants at Burger King today I got the enormous breakfast burrito with the bacon egg and cheese in it and it is pretty good I got extra cheese too so it was like an extra 50 cents I think for extra cheese in this one still not bad compared to like McDonald's dollar extra cheese or whatnot but it's pretty dang good for it's only $3.99 at least here and um, I think it's uh, pretty good value compared to like Jack in the Box I think theirs is like seven or eight bucks just for a freaking burrito about the same size as this and they have the smaller one too that's only like uh, two dollars and fifty cents for a, a breakfast burrito also anyways I think it's pretty dang good I'm enjoying it I better get back to eating it so I can get back to work but uh, yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and make a video about that. Guys, well, I ended up in uh, on Alaska-ish. Um, it's like almost Silver Creek. I don't know what this would be considered entirely. Kind of close to Mosky Rock. Um, it was a pretty good order. I made like uh, $69 off of it. Well, $69.46. Uh, I think it took me like an hour and a half total to get both orders dropped off. Yeah, $69.49. I ended up at this little gas station, uh, a mobile gas station, uh, and uh, it's uh, they actually had like a bunch of deli stuff. I wish a bunch. I wish other places stocked their deli. Well, there's a few other places that do, but they had a lot of really good stuff. Like the pizza looked really good, and um, I got mashed potatoes and gravy. It looks it, it looks and tastes really good. So uh, I'm gonna eat that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work. But uh, yeah, I, I was actually impressed with this place. Anyway, I was talking good about Burger King earlier, and this time I'm kind of talking bad about them, but not exactly the restaurant. It's not their fault that this employee did that. I just was mortified that, uh, I, I don't know, it happens, but still, if you obviously have touched the food, you should put it back She and grab more food. The, uh, she, she, Okay, the employee, the other employee, put the fries in the thing, you know, the, the container, and then she went to grab the fries, and I think it was because she was worried about touching this guy's hand, because, yeah, I mean, he's a little weird or whatnot, or she's just, you know, didn't want to, she, it just makes her uncomfortable, so she's trying not to touch his hand, so she goes like this over the fries, and her whole hand pretty much touches the top of the fries, and she just puts it in the in the bag. And I just, oh my gosh, I, I don't know what to do. I, I kind of wanted to say something be, because, but 
it wasn't my food, but still, I, I felt bad. I just did an Instacart order at Safeway, and uh, there was only one item, well, six of the one item, and it wasn't in stock. So I tried to call the customer, I tried to message him. Um, it did just have a replacement choice that I could just go ahead and choose, and it wouldn't count against me if I went ahead and chose it, but I was just trying to take care of the customer, especially since he's a new customer, and he didn't answer, didn't answer messaging or anything like that. Anyway, so I go ahead and deliver the order and I get there and he's just like the most laid back, nicest guy. Like seriously, I'm just like, um, I was like, yeah, I had to go with Silk instead of Khalifa Farms or whatnot. And he's like, we'll try that. And I was like, all right, cool. And he's like, here. And he gave me an extra $5. And then I almost went the wrong way and he like stopped me real quick. And he's like, that's the wrong way. You got to go the other way. And I'm like, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I appreciate the help and uh, I was like I also had to take a picture um, you know I went ahead and took a picture because it forced me to and he's like that's all good you did great the self checkout stand and uh, there was this guy he was at the cooler to the right of the self checkout stand the first time I saw him he's getting some pop or whatnot so it looked like he was still shopping and he just continued to stand there and um, I was in the self checkout line in the aisle like you're supposed to be or you're supposed to be in the right in the middle to go to be in the next line or whatnot. Anyways, I was like, um, are you in line? He's like, yeah, I've been here way before you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right. And so I was like, this is where the line usually is. So he goes and checks out and then I get my checkout. So I'm like, yeah, that's, sorry, dude, but that's not usually how the line works. I've checked out there plenty of times, I know how it goes. Anyway, so I check out and then the guy checks out and then he walks behind me and he, he like says under his breath, F you, you know, like F you, but the cuss word. And then I'm just, and he just walks away. I'm just like, whatever. I just want to show off the biggest Jack in the box order I think I've ever had. It's pretty good size. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six bags there. And then if I come over here, there's four drinks. Could be worse though. It was decently heavy for a Jack in the Box order, but nothing like KFC, man. Those uh, those catering orders are pretty freaking heavy sometimes. I swear they get up over 50 pounds plus sometimes. Uh, but this one, yeah, it's still decently heavy. Let's say like 30 pounds maybe. I might be wrong. I don't know how to judge weight. It was just uh, pretty big for a Jack in the Box order. We'll see if it pays well. Um, it says 15 and I'm guessing I'm just going to get 15. Well, it says, let's see here. Uh, what is it? If I can open my phone. Um, damn it. It says, well, I got to confirm pickup. It says $15 and 48 cents. What do you think it's going to be? A gun pulled on me guys. So, uh, kind of crazy. Um, they didn't actually point it at me, but still, it was uh, kind of crazy. Uh, so what happened was I was driving in my car. I just got done uh, shopping the orders, and all of a sudden, a black car comes out of nowhere. It just swerves, almost hits me, and uh, it was just kind of nutty. So I just honked my horn, and the passenger takes out his you know his hand, flips me off. I don't want to do it on, on uh, the video because it actually counts as a community guideline strike. But yeah, he flips me off, and then um, after that, he puts his hand back in the car for a second. Then he puts his hand in the air like this, and with a black object, and it totally looked like a gun. I don't, I don't know. He didn't point it at me though, like I said before. But still, it's like, why the hell would you pull a gun just from somebody honking their horn at you? And it wasn't even that. So I am home, and I am just about to relax. At least I think so. I want to get some sleep. I am exhausted. It's been a long day, uh, about 12 hours, I think. Maybe, yeah, right around there, 9.30 to 9.30, I think is about right. Made $267, and uh, yeah, I don't even know. I'm just tired, and I want to get some sleep. I want to shave my face, but I want to get these bills paid, But and then I want to take a day off. That would be great. I don't think I've had a day off in like three, two and a half weeks, something like that. I don't even know. Maybe longer or shorter. If you look through my videos, which I plan on doing, <laughs> you can find out because I talk about my day every single day and what I do every day and all of the DoorDash and et cetera I'm doing. It's just I've had a lot of stuff come up and I got to get uh, the little extra stuff this month that I had to pay. 
It'll be better next month, but this month, yeah, we'll get. I'm getting through it though. 